Hi! Hi folks! Let's look what appeared on the front page of the Dallas Morning News. And here's that article. Right here, this one. See? They're saying President Obama made a compromise. When a lot of people are saying, in actuality, he came in to the pressure from religious groups of course, these here United States of America. You see, President Obama, Democrat, he recently ruled, being the monarch that he is, that religious institutions have to comply with the health care law requiring them to pay for uh, contraceptives, birth control devices, etc., which runs counter to many religious groups, specifically the Catholic Church. Well, there was a big outcry about this. Oh, no, you know, and everybody was getting upset. The bishops, the ministers, everybody was getting upset. So we compromised. You said, all right, you don't have to pay for it. We'll make sure the insurance companies pay for it. So if any lady wants to go in for any of these devices or contraceptives, they will get them for free at the cost to the insurance companies. And to President Barack Obama, Democrat, that seems reasonable. Yeah! Hello! Guess what, kids? When the insurance companies have to pay for it, do you think they're going to take the hit? No. The premiums will go up for the provider. The premiums will go up all across the board. So in other words, if I'm with an insurance company that insured somebody at a Catholic university, and I happen to have it with the place I work, my premiums are going to go up. Wait a minute. But I don't use any of those devices the women are getting for free. So, we level the playing field to the lowest common denominator according to them, their liberals, and Democrats. But you know, folks, that's not what is, what's upsetting me. No. Because what I did, I searched the Constitution of these here United States, and I looked, and I read it, and reread it, and read it. And I could not find anywhere in here where it gives the President the authority to tell an insurance company what you have to pay for, where it gives the President the authority to tell institutions what you have to provide for your employees. I didn't read that in here. Could you please read this and let me know if it's in here? Now, Mao's little red book, it's in there, I bet. But I know it is not in the Constitution. When the president said that the religious institutions have to provide it for free, he was in violation of the Constitution. When the president now says insurance companies have to provide it, he is in violation of the Constitution. So when the President is in violation of the Constitution these two times, plus the time when he made a recess appointment when there was no recess in the Senate, that was unconstitutional. Should there be an impeachment process thing taking place? Not with this Congress. There's no way that's going to happen. And he knows that. So that's why he could take this document and toss it aside and totally trample upon it because he knows nobody in the Congress on Capitol Hill is going to call him on the constitutionality of it, especially when he's backing up and say, why, it's in the health care legislation, which in itself is not constitutional. It's in the health care legislation because in it is a part that says preventative care to be provided. So in other words, these both control devices and abortions or whatever is preventative care. That's what it is. Because to these liberals and Democrats, having a baby is a disease. Yeah! If you give birth, you're violating the disease part of that clause. So says they. It's unconstitutional as actions and I defy any of you to find where it's written in here, giving him that authority, and please do not hallucinate it into here, alright? We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.